So it's just the kind of crap you're using for your tire pressure monitoring system uh, for your RV fifth wheel. It's one of these tire minder systems or a TST, something with these little screw on sensors here. Well, these are junk. Get rid of them. Oh, I need that for the video. So what's the problem with these TPMS sensors? Well, basically they are wheel weights hanging off of the end of your valve stem is the biggest issue. And over time, that's gonna wear your valve stem out at the base and it's gonna leak. I don't care who you are, unless it's a steel, all steel metal valve stem, it's gonna leak and it's gonna leave you stranded. If you're using these, you're setting yourself up for strandation. Stranded. Strandation. Strandedness. Oh, you say, oh, Thomas, that can't be true. They wouldn't sell these if they weren't okay for your valve stems. Cicadas going to town out here. They're not okay for your valve stems and they would sell them and they do sell them, uh, but that needs to change. Not only uh, are they weights on the end of your valve stems, but they don't about last very long. The batteries don't last long. The connection doesn't uh, maintain all that good all the time. Sometimes they don't even update. You can ask anybody that's ever used one of these systems if they get consistent readings all the time and if they're honest with you, the answer is going to be no. We, ourselves personally, and I don't make this stuff up, this all comes from uh, personal experience. We have been on the side of the road with a flat or very low tire uh, because of this issue three times. Three times we had to have valve stems changed because, nothing wrong with the tire, because of having this, these external TPMS sensor on a non-steel uh, valve stem. So after digging around a little bit and doing some research, I think that the internal sensors uh, like that are in your OEM vehicle uh, are more accurate for temperature and pressure. Uh, the batteries obviously last a lot longer. Uh, we have a 2010 Dodge Ram that I just had to replace the sensors in last year, 12 years later. And our other vehicles have never given us any problems with the internal sensors. So why could you not have a kit like that for your travel trailer or your RV. Why would there not be an internal sensor kit for that? So I started digging around and guess what I found? Now hold up, relax, relax. I know you're gonna go cry. I hear you typing already how you've used these CPMS sensors for 20 years and you never had a problem. I'm not saying you can't use them. I'm saying if you want to use these TPMS sensors, that's fine. You better use them on all metal valve stems, steel, brass, aluminum, uh, because that's what they need to be on. And anybody that's going to tell you the truth is going to tell you that. Uh, the problem that I have is that they don't always tell you that. And they just surely didn't tell us that uh, when we bought our system. They told them they were fine for the valve stems that we had, and they were not. So what I want is a simple kit that uses internal sensors uh, that's easy to install, hopefully uh, myself if I need to work on it. Uh, uh, the sensors last a long time. I don't have to rebalance the tires. Uh, I don't have to change my valve stems. That's what I want. Well, I'll tell you what, did a little bit of Google searching, found Tucson RV Brakes LLC uh, right here. Got a little sweet package. It's not exactly what I was looking at when I clicked on the website, but so they have internal kits, the same internal sensors that go uh, on your OEM, ve OEM vehicle uh, for towable. That is what I want. So up front, they did send us this kit to try and use for free. We have not been paid for our opinion, but they really were interested in us trying this particular product uh, with these particular sensors. Uh, and I've never seen anything like this, and we're gonna get to that uh, in a minute. But yeah, that says TPMS ball sensor. So that's what they are. So yeah, intrigued ball sensors uh, basically says, yeah, you can uh, pull your tire off at home if you, if you want to, let the air out of it, break the bead, drop this little ball in there and uh, air it back up and you're good to go. They come prepared with the display and there's a chart in the back that tells you which one is which one, two, three, four, five, six, you get the picture. Uh, that way you can keep track of, of what's on there. We're gonna unbox this and yeah, we all know that I've been in this box already, but we're gonna pull it apart, kind of look at one of the ball sensors. So excited to try this. Why is this so hard? Tucson, like I said, never heard of these guys uh, before looking them up, but here they are and they got something pretty neat. 
So otherwise, other than the, the sensors being little balls that ride around inside your tires, uh, it's a pretty standard kit if you've ever had one of these. Um, it's got a, a receiver, which I like the, the receiver uh, that goes on the dash. It feels pretty substantial. We'll see how it holds up. Uh, the last one that we had from TireMinder disintegrated within six months. Uh, no, I don't keep it on the dash all the time, put it up when it's not in use. Uh, but this one I like actually has an on and off switch uh, on the cigarette plug, uh, the 12 volt plug, so you can turn it on and off there. Uh, this one also, so it's programmed when you start it up and everything comes alive, it feeds you the PSI, it feeds you the tire temperature, and it feeds you the battery voltage of the rig battery, uh, which I like that. So an important component of any TPMS system uh, that's going to be used for your travel trailer or your fifth wheel is going to be the signal repeater. Uh, it mounts usually to like the tongue or somewhere on the front of your fifth wheel or your travel trailer. Uh, but the directions for the Tucson kit says this can be mounted in a forward facing storage compartment as long as it's not enclosed by metal. So we're going to mount this temporarily with just the 3M adhesive uh, on the wall inside that front storage compartment where our batteries and inverters are, and we're going to try that out. I'm not going to screw it in and mount it permanently until I know that it's going to function correctly, but the batteries and the 12-volt panel and everything are in there, so that's going to make hooking it up really easy. So that's what I'm going to do now, uh, but just know if you're going to be installing one of these, you're going to have to mount one of these uh, repeaters somewhere up front in your rigs. So yes, this kit is not that different from any other kit, tire minder kit, TST, uh, except for one big way, and that's my one big problem with those other kits, and that's the sensors. These sensors solve all the issues, hopefully, uh, or they are supposed to, we're gonna see uh, how they do, that I have had with weights on the end of my valve stems. And that's them right there. See how big they are, like, right to my palm. It's a hard plastic. Man, these things gotta take quite the beating. He said, actually, once they get going, uh, they kind of float around in there and it doesn't really damage them at all. Uh, wake up speed is 12 miles an hour, 20 kilometers per hour. Uh, the sensor will wake up and continue transmitting messages to the receiver every minute while moving. Uh, as a general reference, the sensor battery life is about five years when driven four hours per day, uh, and you can buy, I said, the sensors uh, sold separately at different the, the frequencies that you need. I'm gonna throw the rest of the specs of the whole system up here on the screen right now real quick so you can look at it, pause them, and take a look at that, and then we're gonna get into getting them mounted in the tire so we can see how this operates. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I mean, we're having some fun now. We're having all kinds of fun starting to get this stuff worked out, but. Hey, something I saw was, look on this tire right here. If you look at it right there, it doesn't look too bad. We roll it on around a little ways. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. A radio belt snapped in that tire. Yep, definitely time to uh, get these changed. So I've got these all labeled with numbers because I gotta get make sure the guys at the tire shop put the right sensor in the right tire. So these ball sensors come with these label packs uh, with sensor numbers. I'm not supposed to, I guess they're supposed to go in here. I didn't read the instructions, but that's where I'm gonna put them right now. Uh, they come in packs labeled uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. But I'm putting a little sticker on the corresponding one so the guys at the tire shop know uh, which one goes in which tire. Look at these little guys, these are so cute. So we got the last ones fixing to go on, but if you listen real quiet, you can hear the ball sensor and they're rolling around. Sorry about the noise, but we are fixing to take off for the first trip. Got the ball sensors in. Uh, we're gonna see, I don't know if the repeater's in the right spot or in a good spot uh, for this configuration, uh, but we're gonna see if it picks up and everything works good. Uh, who knows, may have to move it, but we're gonna give it a shot. So we've been doing highway speeds for about eh, 15, 20 minutes now, 25 minutes, about 60 to 65 miles an hour. Uh, everything's still scrolling through, looks pretty good. Uh, so let's see, it's gonna show battery voltage right there, 13.2, uh, then it'll scroll to the PSI, 93 to 91, 90, so that's good. And uh, temperatures are all within a few degrees of each other. 
140 and 145 so all right guys so we are cranking it on another drive uh, we're actually on our way up to Tennessee driving through the Nantahala National Forest and it is beautiful uh, looks like everything is showing up just fine pressures are all reading normal uh, the temperatures are all good everything seems to be working okay got about a three hour drive today we'll monitor it uh, but it looks like everything's working great so far. All right, so we made it to Tennessee. We've got about 300, 350 miles towed uh, with the new TPMS system that we're talking about here uh, from Tucson RV Brakes. So just like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, this kit uh, is pretty standard as far as having the receiver, which I do like uh, the display on the receiver. It looks kind of flickery in the video. That's just for the shutter speed on the camera signal repeater seems to actually be working really good i've got it mounted over here into the let me show you i've got it mounted over here in our front compartment right inside there that's where batteries and everything are at so it seems to be doing just fine there i didn't have any signal interruptions on any of the drives that we've done so we'll keep a watch on that but i think that location is going to work out good and i like it being in there it's out of the weather uh, but the big difference with this system is the fact that it uses internal sensors for your towable rv and these are ball sensors they're little balls hard plastic balls that you yourself uh, if you can take the tire off and air it down Break the bead, you can drop it in there yourself. You don't have to rebalance the tire. You don't have to change the valve stem or anything like that. Air it back up and you're in business. Uh, if you need to rotate tires on a vehicle that have these, it's easy to swap them around on the display where they're at. So I think the batteries are gonna last a long time. They're rated for uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of four to five years with four hours of driving a day. Not gonna be doing that. So they should at least uh, hopefully last five years. And that's, uh, you know, that's the lifespan uh, really of a set of uh, trailer tires uh, where you have to start looking at replacing them because of age degradation. Which that brings us to the reason that I hate these uh, screw on sensors that go on the end of your valve stems because if they're not on metal valve stems, they're okay on metal valve stems. Uh, but if you're not running them on metal valve stems, these things are going to cause you problems. They're going to leave you stranded with a low tire or uh, worse than that, when it doesn't pick up that it's leaking air, uh, it's going to leave you with a blowout on the side of the road and hopefully not damage and destroy your entire uh, RV by ripping the gas line or the plumbing out. But that's uh, been known to happen. So I will never use these again. So I don't have any reason to believe that these ball sensors will fail. Uh, they've performed flawlessly, but we've only towed three or 400 miles so far. So uh, we will revisit this uh, probably in six months or so uh, to see how it's doing. But I will tell you that if these fail, I will switch to the Tucson standard internal sensors that are just like the OEM sensors. Uh, but for right now, these ball sensors are the thing man these are the new sliced bread for tpms and you're missing out if you don't give them a shot so the awesome folks over at tucson rv brakes uh sent us a code as well to give you guys to get 10 percent off so that's going to be hoth 23 put that in on their website we'll put the website in the description below it's going to save you 10 percent on whatever you buy off their website. If it happens to be 2024 or 2025 or later, uh, just use that year, Hoth 25, Hoth 26, Hoth 24. That's still gonna save you. That's just gonna roll over every year and save you 10%. So we really appreciate that for the Home on the Hitch Hitchhikers. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you go to their website and check out everything they have to offer. Again, that's Tucson RV Brakes LLC. Get rid of this crap and don't ever use that mess again.